In Creo Parametric, you can create a special kind of annotation on a drawing called a coordinate dimension. It will show the X and Y dimensions of geometry within a box. To get to the command, you will go to the Annotate tab, and then from the Annotations Overflow menu, here is the Coordinate Dimension command. One thing that I want to note about this command is that it works only with shown model dimensions. You can't use created dimensions in a coordinate dimension. Let me go to this particular view, and right now we have some model dimensions that are shown here. I'm going to erase those by clicking on them with the left mouse button, and then using the erase command from the mini toolbar. Now let me select the draft dimensions that are currently erased, and I will unerase them. And let me repaint the screen by clicking on the background. Let's try using the command now. I will go to the Annotations Overflow menu and then choose Coordinate Dimension. And I'm being prompted to select Geometry, a point, an axis, or a cosmetic sketched entity. Let me select this point that I have on this curved surface that I will use for inspection. And now you can see a preview of the box. I'm being prompted to select a location for the symbol. I will middle mouse button where I want it to appear. And in the message area, I'm being prompted to select a dimension for the X dimension. When I try to pick this dimension, nothing will really happen. I don't even get anything in the message area or a next prompt. So I'm going to middle mouse click to get out of the command. Let's try that again, but I'm going to erase those draft dimensions and then bring back the model dimensions, the shown dimensions, using the unerase command from the mini toolbar. Let's go to annotations, coordinate dimension, and once again, I will pick the point that I want to dimension. Let's middle mouse click where I want the dimension to appear. And now I'm being prompted to select a dimension for the X dimension. Let me pick this dimension. And that dimension now gets erased on the screen. Next, we will choose the dimension for the Y dimension. I will choose this dimension. And let me click on the background of the screen. Let me repaint. They are still visible on the screen. If you take a look in the drawing tree, it's showing that they are actually supposed to be suppressed. If this happens to you, just go to the Review tab and then Update Sheets, and it'll take care of that problem. Let's say that I decide that I no longer want this coordinate dimension. I can click on it with the left mouse button and then use the delete command. And when I use the delete command, it is going to bring back those different dimensions. If you take a look at them in the drawing tree, they no longer have that suppress symbol next to them. So that's how you can create a coordinate dimension if you want to use that kind of dimension in your drawing.